Hi, I'm Josh. I'm Molly. I'm Tommy Hilfiger. Happy Tommy. Yeah. Thank you so much for having us here. Thank you for coming. Yeah. I've got to conf- I confess, Tommy, growing up, there was a moment when I realized that you were a real person. Okay. Oh really? I think it, the brand is so big. I haven't I just, figured I, that I, I one never, out yet. I never thought that there was a person, yeah. a real person behind yeah. it all. And then... I, I'm still wondering myself. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't really figured that out yet. Yeah. We've just had the privilege to talk to Lewis Hamilton. I love fried rice in general, so this is great. You like fried rice? Okay. Mm, really, really, really like it. Just so you know, I don't have any filter, so I'm, I was quite nervous because if I don't like it, I'm going to say it and I, don't, I wouldn't want to no, offend no, you. No, cool. Every time I saw him, I thought he was like really, really cool looking and a cool jacket on or a cool tuxedo. Okay. So I said, we should do something together. And wow. he really didn't believe me. So we started the process. He came in with a lot of different ideas. Yeah. And, and some designers would have said, no way, I don't want to do that. Right. But I wanted to accept his ideas and bake them with my DNA. What I'm hearing from that is, me Tommy Hilfiger, dressed pretty well. Yeah. A couple of years later, maybe an Ollie and Tommy line. No, <laughs> <laughs> well, no. Let me interview okay. you. Yeah. <laughs> Other than Tommy Hilfiger, who is yeah. your favorite brand? Oh, oh gosh. Tommy Jeans? Okay. okay. <laughs> Other than Tommy G's, what's okay. your other favorite brand? Okay. What was okay. your first company again? Okay. <laughs> People's Place. Oh, wow. Well, you were way too young. That was during the 70s when oh, I don't know. I, I hippie clothes. Age well. Yeah. Age well. It must be this uh, Korean skincare. Yeah. Oh, you heard. You heard. That's amazing. Obviously, you are kind of the archetypal self made man, but in an industry as tough as fashion. Do you have any tips for young, budding? fashion designers, people who want to get into the industry? I have a lot of tips. <laughs> I'm very opinionated. I have a lot, of, a lot of tips. I think people who want to go in the fashion business should at least get some retail experience because when you're working retail, you get a chance to speak to the customers and find out what their needs are. And if you know what the customer's needs are and you're going to develop your own collection, you'll know what to design. Number two, there's a very simple formula. Fit, style, quality. Mm-hmm. Quality, fit, style. Quality, style, fit in any order. But those three things you have to master because if you have a great looking garment, a great style, mm-hmm. but bad quality, you lose. If you have a great fitting mm-hmm. garment and you have bad style, you lose. If you don't have those three working together, you don't ever become successful. Number three is you never give up. A lot of people start and it becomes difficult. Now they don't get the right fabric, they can't sew a straight line. I think that if you stick with it and really give it your all, you'll you'll make it with anything, but with with fashion in particular. So if I master all three of those, yeah. You I win. Can get a Tommy line. Okay. Well, <laughs> well let's All see. Right, Ollie, let's, not. Let's, let's talk I mean, about that Tommy oh line. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. How, how many followers do you have again? <laughs> uh, I don't know how many. Have you added them all up? Depends, yeah. Uh-huh. Coming up on five million? Well, yeah. look, we can talk. Okay. <laughs> what would you do to this sweater if uh, I were to say no. redesign that sweater? Redesign it well. Question. I mean, I certainly wouldn't change the model. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Maybe make it sleeveless into a vest. Okay, that's show whoa. Off. Not, show not a bad idea. <laughs> show the mid- midriff. <laughs> that's it. Go on. Sleeveless midriff for a man. It's good. Yeah. Exactly, exactly right. right. Yeah. The next big thing. I mean, it's. it's <laughs> no, I've got no idea what. I wouldn't trust him with the fashion. What would line. you do with this sweater with the if you were line. asked to to redesign it? <laughs> I'm nervous. Tommy Hilfiger is, is asking. Yeah, literally. Question. Okay, I'm all about. Comfort. It looks like it's a very comfortable sweater already. I might go and just change this the high neck for a lower one. Okay. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> so I'll I'm tell terrified. you what I, I'll tell you yeah. what I would do. Okay. Oh please, yeah. I would put a zipper all the way down. Okay. Because then you don't have to lift it over your head. Yeah. Because when I was okay. putting it on this morning, I was thinking. If I had to redesign this, I would put a zipper all the way up. Okay. Okay. That's just what I was going to say. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Took the words out of my mouth. Thank you so much again for inviting us. Thank you very um, much for coming. Thank you so Thanks. much, cool. Tommy. Okay. I really appreciate that. Yeah. Thank you, Dicker. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah.
Just step on my new white shoes. All right, I'm All sitting right. in Tommy Hilfiger's chair. Yeah, well, okay. Is it a metaphor? Yeah. No, 100% <laughs> not. How did you manage, of all people, to come out with? <laughs> I was pitching. I was pitching hard. A fashion I designer. Hard. I do find that one of the most enjoyable parts of our job, just meeting people and seeing how you know we're all humans. Honestly, I mean, we every celebrity we meet, I feel like, is surprisingly down to earth, and it's kind of amazing how you know just normal they are. We're all just people. You always realise they're just like normal. They're human beings. Well, they are people, but, but with people. whiter teeth. <laughs> You're an idiot. You're an idiot. You're an idiot. They yeah. are though, they are. I mean, You're unbelievable. An idiot. It was yeah, unbelievable. I mean, okay. The point is, we're talk, just talking to a guy who's like, like you said, his name is on millions of people's clothes. We got a taxi here. Around the world. And the guy yeah. driving the taxi wearing a Tommy was Hilfiger. wearing a Tommy Hilfiger t shirt. And I was like, I'm about to meet the guy yeah. who wrote his name on yeah. your t shirt. In Milan, just randomly Italian taxi So driver. crazy, yeah. This wasn't even a sponsored video. We just got the chance to do an interview yeah, with like, Tommy oh, do Hilfiger. Want in, do you want to interview so Tommy Hilfiger? Like, yeah, sure. Yeah, we will do an extra video. And it also, I finally so got the opportunity to pitch my fashion business to him. And he was responsive. I got an interview. Yeah. I've applied for jobs and I haven't got interviews. You know what? I was gonna, I was actually genuinely gonna say the zip down thing. <laughs> I'm nervous. Tommy, I don't know. Okay. <laughs> Josh I Pat. could have said it. The first thing I thought, which I thought was too stupid, imagine that, something that I thought was too stupid to say. And he was like, what should, what would you do? The first thing I thought to say was to take out the Mercedes logo and put another Tommy logo. <laughs> <laughs> you should have said that. Would have been the bloody bear mint tree. Oh, duh, that was so dumb. All right, well, this has been a very, very surreal experience. Exciting times. See you jolly soon. See you night, guys. Bye. Bye. Bye.